What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper and welcome to another video tutorial. Um, I'm going to be expanding on effects for your live DJ sets today. Um, this is another cool thing that I had going this weekend um, that I just want to share with you guys because, you know, why not? we got to spread the love, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, this is just a little effects rack that I've made and I've consolidated everything down to three macro knobs. And then I've assigned these macro knobs to my MIDI controller. And just to let you know, um, I don't have like a webcam thing, so I'm just going to show you some pictures. I use the APC40, and I also use the UC33 controller. And um, this is what I assign these three macro knobs to right over here, these three bad boys, or, you know, any of them, whichever reason. When I'm in my live set, I'm only using four channels of music at most at any one time. And that's just, you know, because I'm not a genius at this yet. I'm still learning. But anyway, um, I just set this up just like a regular DJ mixer. My highs, my mid, my low EQ, and then my volume control here. And that means I have this whole section, this whole right side of this controller empty and free for MIDI stuff. So I go ahead and throw on some effects right here. Um, and I've got, like I said, these three. And I just assign them right here. And um, I can't really show you what's happening but I'm just gonna use the mouse for now but you can imagine if you assign these to you know MIDI controller so here's a quick demo of the um, JC DJ FX rack that I've made um, and then you obviously as always you can download this project or you can follow along either way is gonna work it's all stock stuff and you can use any loop but anyway here's a quick demo of um, the JC DJ FX rack I'm sorry for that clicking, but this screen capture program I use uses up like fucking 75% of my CPU. But anyway, um, as you can see, it's a filter, fade to gray, and I'm going to beat repeat. And I'm going to show you how to make this rack. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Delete this, and what we're left with is just our loop. So first thing you got to do is take an audio effects rack and drop it on that audio channel. And you can also put this on the master as well, just to let you know. But um, I do it on each channel because I might want to fade, you know, affect the lead or something, and, and not the drums. But anyway, drop the audio effects down there. Go to audio filter and drop it right here. Auto filter right on where it says drop audio effects. So bam, expand the macro knobs. Go ahead and hit map mode. Come down here and click the frequency and hit map. Then come up here and hit the the on off switch and hit map on the macro one again switch the minimum to zero and the maximum to 126 hit enter and then go ahead and click the map mode and let me show you what this does um, so now if you can see if we're stuck on we're for 127 the device is off and nothing is happening no uh, there's no filter going on and as soon as you twist it as soon as it goes to right here, soon it turns on the device and then you're running your audio auto filter. So here. Off. On. Filter. Off. And then bam, you've got your auto filter. And go ahead and rename this macro to filter. Keep things neat. Um, you can rename the audio effect rack to filter as well. And that way, when you collapse this stuff, you still see filter right there. And that makes everything nice and neat. So go ahead and repeat that step. Drop the audio effects here. And then go expand down the audio effects rack. And then go to performance and DJ. Come down to fade to gray and drop that effect right here. Expand your macro knobs again. Map mode. And on this, go ahead and just click this and hit map and let's see what that does I'm pretty sure that's all I did right there yep so we're good to go right there um, you're, you're playing with fire now so go ahead and rename this gray go ahead and rename this gray and collapse that and we'll do one more this is exactly what I did so drop that on the audio 
go ahead and go down to your um, what did I use? Oh, beat repeat, audio effects, performance DJ, beat repeat madness one. Drop it right there. And I did things a little differently here. Um, I just wanted to turn on and off. So what I did is map mode, hit the on off button, hit map, and then go one zero up here. And it's mapping. It tells you device on off. So um, now that now if we run this. If the if the macro if the macro is at zero, the device is off. If it's at anywhere above zero, one to 127, the device is on. It doesn't change anything the higher you go. So it's basically like a toggle switch, but you throw it on a knob, twist it on, it comes on, twist it off, it goes off. So go ahead and rename, keep everything neat, repeat. And repeat, bam, and collapse that. Now, what I also did is some of these effects. If when you start playing with them, they'll they'll boost your audio. And what I just do is a quick fix for that is get a limiter. There's tons of these online. Go ahead, and there a lot of them are free. I just use this classic um, classic master limiter. Drop it on there. And now, no matter what I do, um, I'm never gonna redline here on my audio channel. So this one is from KJ Airhus Audio, I guess. You can look that up, or you can just go out and find another one. There's tons of free effects plugins like that. And Ableton 8, I think, has a limiter in it anyway. But anyway, that's what I got. So now what I got to do here is kind of select them all, right-click, and hit Group. So now they're all grouped together in this audio effects rack. So go ahead and expand your macros and hit map mode here. Click your filter, hit map, click your gray, hit map here on macro two, hit the repeat and hit map here on three and go ahead and rename them. Filter. Macro two is the gray. Macro three is the repeat. Bam. and you can go ahead and collapse that and let's see what we got um, first thing you want to do is switch your filter up to 127 this is backwards and I don't know a way to switch that but um, it's got to be up here and then you're gonna filter out the lows going the other way so let's go ahead and play it see if it all worked out And, ba and bam, you've got your own audio effects rack. Um, this is exactly what I made. It's just a JC audio effects rack, DJ audio effects rack. I throw these on my audio channels and maybe one on the master. And this is, you know, you can use up to eight on any one audio effects rack, but obviously you can have as many as you want. Don't get too crazy because when you're in your live set, you know, things get kind of kind of hectic sometimes. But anyway, that's. Uh, I hope that worked out for some people. I hope that helps. Um, if you make a really dope audio effects rock, go ahead and hit me up and uh, send it to me, man. I'd like to see what you guys are doing with uh, the, the knowledge that I'm dropping on you. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitter. You know, All the links are in the sidebar. Check out my website. Lots of free music for DJs. And also, hit me up and let me know what you guys want to know about. Um, this is Joshua Casper, and I'll talk to you next time.